All right, and you at six dozens of pets are waiting to be adopted at the SPCA of Polk County. As Kay Terry's Mary Ella Gonzalez reports, the shelter is facing several challenges, one being to repair flood damages and a decline in adoptions and donations. Karen Pruitt is a board member with the SPCA of Polk County. She says repairs for the dog park could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars after May floods created a huge sinkhole. So we have a, a dog park that's not really a dog park right now. It's really a hazard. Meanwhile, they have fencing around a small section or have volunteers taking dogs for walks. They have 148 animals under their care and have seen donations decrease by 40 percent. For the past month, they had 55 adoptions. However, Pruitt says they have seen days where only one to three adoptions happen or none at all. People love their animals, but they can't necessarily afford the financial support that it takes. The house clinic is open only on Friday and Saturday, offering spay and neuter and basic wellness. Pruitt says they hope to open a few more extra days to help alleviate pet owner costs and overpopulation. We're trying to get it staffed to where it's consistent every week on a certain day, um, but this is all evolving. Pruitt also says they hope to see an increase in volunteers for their foster home program. Could take in little guys like Cuddles um, because it's really healthier for the dogs to be in a foster in a real home. Mariella Gonzalez, KTRE, East Texas News 9. Now you can scan this QR code you see right here at the bottom of your screen to learn more about the SPCA of Polk County, or you can also head to KTRE.com and click on the big red box. There you will find a link with more information.